you serious? What is up, Mick Mob? I am the Motorcycle Mick, and today we're doing a project review. Yay! But before I go into that, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday around 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come in, take a seat, have a glass of Jameson, and let's talk about your motorcycle questions and problems. Today, we are doing... I hear you. A product review on Harley Davidson's new-ish, and here we go. Idiots all week, folks. That's the second time today. They did. I, I get this new ballistic riding jacket. Oh, by the way, it's a ballistic riding jacket, but they call it the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle Mesh Riding Jacket. What a freaking mouthful! But that's what they call it. This is the first time today I got to test it. You fucking serious? Or almost got to test it. But we are just running a train on morons that want to try to kill me today. It is just not my day. It's it's Mondays. Fuck Mondays. But this is the new Harley Davidson mouthful of word. What it is is a... Hey, what's up, man? It is a ballistic nylon riding jacket. What that means is that you get more protection than leather without all the weight and the unbreathability. I got this jacket because you guys remember my drag racing video and I had a blast. I had an awesome time. I dragged my day away and it was fun. And I came in second, so probably to me number two and i'm proud of that because first time the problem i ran into was that that leather jacket was extremely hot it was burning me up it became really like i could have unzipped it i should have i wasn't being smart i went on a search i i, I searched my soul i went on a pilgrimage to find the best lightweight riding jacket I could that had tons of protection and through my pilgrimage I found it I found this jacket right here yeah and what it is is woven nylon into a polymer that is more resistant to abrasion than leather now you're thinking like oh what how can I know I can trust this well this nylon has been in development for Wow, around 80 years it's been developed because in 1940 they wanted to find a new way to protect pilots that was lightweight without having all that armor plating in an aircraft to give them more of an advantage when flying. Hey, what the man? And so what they came up with was ballistic nylon. And you know what? They were looking for something to stop bullets, absorb impact from flak guns, provide an armor for the pilot that was lightweight. And you know what? They failed. It worked horribly against bullets. It worked moderately against flak, which is basically a bomb that shoots up explodes but what they did discover was it had extreme abrasive resistance and it would not fall apart it was super strong and 80 years later that technology is used in riding jackets and i know other companies make it i mean you look at my gloves they are ballistic nylon too but harley finally got their head in the game created this jacket and it's an awesome jacket it's not easy for me to say that and for a harley jacket it's not super expensive it's really weird because the woven fabric on the outside feels strong and you know you feel protected on the inside there's like this mesh kind of lightweight layer it's weird because the more that you sweat the wind passing over it cools you off so I kind of coined the phrase, and I know it sounds kind of dorky, but the more you sweat, the cooler you get. And it's awesome. It really is awesome. Oh, here we go. Number three for the day, folks. Dickheads on the road. The technology that went into this is awesome. They finally kind of started getting more modern technology to be used to their advantage. So you have something that's highly protective, highly wearable. They do make three different versions of this. Now this is the Screaming Eagle version of it. They do make one called like the Men's Trenton, which is all black with an orange bar across the middle. It says Harley in black lettering. And then they have another one. I don't know what it's actually called. But it's an orange, light gray, and a white. Something all these do have in common is they do have all these cool little extra pockets like on the elbow, on the shoulder, on the back where you can add extra padding from Harley to add to give you that extra protection you might be looking for. And honestly, I'm probably sweating more under my helmet than I am underneath this jacket. I've been wearing this for a few days now and I've got to test it in the rain.
It looks like it might tornado. Excessive heat. And the way it works, it's really cool. It draws the wind over and it sucks it, blows it all over your skin, giving you that cooling feature. That nice ah, moment at the end. So along with the cuffs that's got here that are adjustable, which I really like, it does have like a corset adjustment on the side, as that's what you want to call it. Basically it allows you to pull it in tighter on around your waist or on lower, kind of adjust it to all sizes of person. So you can get to a one general size, then size it down to wherever it's perfect for you. Along with that being a light jacket, you wouldn't expect storage, but oh my goodness, this thing has got enough storage for a freaking cartel jockey to be comfortable with. It's got two pockets up top, which are about breast height. Yeah, I know I said breast. It's got two right where your hands would be at. And then it's got one on the inside that, you know, you, it's, it's big enough to fit stuff. I'm not going to say stuff on the YouTubes, but it, it'll fit stuff. Now, they do lose points on this jacket for a couple of reasons. One, the mesh liner on the inside is not removable. And to me, that's a problem. The outer shell of this jacket will never really need to be washed, maybe wiped down. The inner shell, shell where you sweat a lot with doesn't have a way to be removed and cleaned. I feel like they could have did something to make their liner removable, which would have been really Really awesome for this jacket because then you might be able to wear this liner over other jackets that they produce but who am I just a small peon in the world of Harleys I think that is something they could do in the future is create just like a ballistic nylon shell that's meant to be worn over heavier stuff but once again you know who are they gonna listen to you'll remember this spot the weight of the jacket I would say is pretty I mean it's a lightweight jacket but also you have to look at the point of for what it is it's it's got some weight to it but not too much I think they they built it in a way that it keeps you cool so you also have the ability to stay cool i feel like this would be the perfect jacket for fall too because if you wear something like under armor or a sweatshirt underneath it because i think that's a problem i have always in, in the warmer months i'm just a naturally warm person their mindset behind the jacket was perfect they wanted something that a younger generation would be wanting to wear i mean being a millennial i guess as you want to consider it i don't really want to wear a leather jacket unless it's super cold outside and even when it's super cold i'm probably just gonna end up wearing a skid proof windproof jacket but with dexterity like the way they design these sleeves are pre-curved so i don't know if that makes sense to you but they aren't just straight sleeves the sleeves are pre-curved so it gives it a better riding feel when you're on there because you're not really bending the jacket it already gives you that position of comfort without having to feel pulling on your back and i think that's why they put those on there it doesn't pull against your back it's not tightening the jacket it's keeping it kind of loose and cool around you. This jacket also does come with pads already. This one specifically. The Screaming Eagle blah 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 mesh jacket does come already with padding in the shoulders, elbows, and the back of the arms without having to get additional padding. The other ones are abrasive resistant. They do not come with any pre-padding in them. So if you do want extra padding, you're not just looking for a slide jacket, you're looking for more protection, you do have to purchase the pads that go with it. So you might as well get this one and already have some padding on there. And so if you want to do it, you can get extra padding. Uh, it's just a hell kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. But if I did have to rate this out of 10, I would give it eight Irish car bombs out of 10. The breathability, the safety of it, and the usage of it, I mean, you can't be beat. And for something that does say Harley, I mean, I like that the fact that it's not branded super Harley, at least this one's not. There's a lot of Screaming Eagle on there, which, you know, it's a performance company, so I can, I can dig wearing that. They don't really have any Harley Davidson on there. And it's lightweight, keeps me cool, but also in the rain, you know, it, it dries off pretty quick. I, I got wet last night. By the time I woke up, the jacket was dry. And I haven't really tasted the abrasive resistance, even though people have tried, and I don't really want to be put in that path again. But if you are looking for a good riding jacket that's lightweight and fun, I recommend it. Jump on board, go get yourself one, because at least here, I'm running out of summer, unfortunately. I would like to live somewhere warmer. But since I'm sitting at a stoplight burn, I don't even know if you guys can see that right now with the sunlight in the way. I will say having a jacket is awesome. I'm not the kind of person that ever really wore safety gear until, you know, it kind of got put in perspective for me. And so that's why I have what I have. A modern protective jacket that also is lightweight and breathable. If you did like this video, guys, leave it a thumbs up. I appreciate the support and the Mick Mob is at 190 and growing. So let's try to hit over 200 subs. But as always, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, nightcap, afternoon tea, brunch, lunch, crumpet, biscuit, and remember to always ride for freedom.
Yeah. This shit is old school. They say I'm not supposed to, but don't make my own rules. Dog, this shit is old school. Yo, bitch, man, that's so new. She been on my whole crew. Yeah, that chick is ran through. Ha. This shit sound like old too. Pull up and I 